pollination in this video lesson we will study about parts of flowers types of flowers process of pollination and types of pollination at last we will end the lesson with a few questions that you will be able to answer once you have watched the complete video lesson you must have seen flowers on most plants flowers are colorful and attractive they may also have fragrance these beautiful flowers attract animals and insects towards the plant why are flowers important well a flower is the reproductive part of the plant which means it produces fruits and fruits have seeds seeds when sown produce new plants thus flowers are responsible for the production of new plants let's learn more about flowers and pollination parts of a flower a flower has four parts calyx corolla and raceme and gynoecium these are also called the four whorls of a flower the flower is attached to the stem by a stalk called the pedicel the swollen end of the pedicel is called the thalamus let's learn about the different whorls of a flower calyx it is the outermost whorl of a flower it is made of five or more green leaf like structures called sepals function the sepals form a protective layer around the flower in its bud stage corolla it is the second whorl of a flower it is the most beautiful part of the flower it is made of brightly colored leaf like structures called petals function the bright and colorful petals attract insects towards the flower petals may also have fragrance to attract insects and birds these creatures help in the process of pollination andrisium it is the third whorl of a flower andrisium is the male reproductive part of the flower it is composed of a collection of stamens each stamen has two parts a long slender stalk called filament and an anther present at the tip of the stamen each anther has pollen sacs which produce dust like particles called pollen grains pollen grains contain the male gametes or the male reproductive cells gynoecium the fourth whorl of the flower or the gynoecium is usually present at the center of a flower it is the female reproductive part of the flower it is composed of pistils it may contain a single pistil or a group of pistils each pistil has three parts stigma style and ovary stigma is the sticky and somewhat swollen tip of the pistil it is the primary site for receiving or capturing the pollen grains style is a thin long tube that connects the stigma to the ovary ovary is the swollen base of the pistil it contains ovules The ovules contain eggs or the female gametes. Quick fact: After fertilization, the ovary becomes the fruit and the ovules become seeds. Types of flowers. Some flowers contain both male and female reproductive parts, whereas some may contain only one of these, that is, either male reproductive part or female reproductive part. On the basis of this, flowers are categorized as bisexual and monosexual. Bisexual flowers contain both the male and the female reproductive parts. And so, they're also called complete flowers. Rose and hibiscus are some examples of bisexual flowers. Monosexual flowers contain either the male reproductive part or the female reproductive part. And so, they are also called incomplete flowers. Flowers of papaya, watermelon and pumpkin are some examples of monosexual flowers. Now, let's learn what is pollination. Pollination is the first step of the process of reproduction in plants. During pollination, transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same or another flower takes place. The transfer of pollen grains takes place through various agents like air, water, insects and birds. These are called agents of pollination. When the anthers mature, they split open and the pollen grains are exposed. The pollen grains may fall on the stigma of the same flower or they may be carried to other flowers by the agents of pollination. 
Pollen grains contain male gametes or reproductive cells. When a pollen reaches the stigma, it starts forming a pollen tube which reaches the ovary through the style. This initiates the process of reproduction. Types of pollination. Pollination is of two types, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination. When the pollen grains from the anther of one flower fall on the stigma of the same flower or of another flower present on the same plant, the process is called self-pollination. Cross-pollination. When the pollen grains from the anther of one flower are transferred to the stigma of another flower present on a different plant of the same kind, the process is called cross-pollination. So, here we finish our chapter. Now, you will be able to answer the following questions. What are the different parts of a flower? Name the male and the female reproductive parts of a flower. Describe the structure of a pistil. What are monosexual flowers? What are bisexual flowers? What is pollination? Why is pollination important? What are agents of pollination? Explain the two types of pollination.